Okay, so the season is over. We've seen the final game between life and heavens. And we have our very first Bonehead Dungeon Bowl Championship champion. Although I promised myself I wouldn't say that much anymore. So I thought that we'd put together a quick season wrap-up video. Talk through some of the matches. Talk through some of the great bits. Talk through some of the things we think we can do better. And of course, with the final viewer championship scores. Okay, so let's talk through the season. This Dungeon Bowl Championship was really an opportunity to play a ton of great great games of Dungeon Bowl. So we took one of each College of Magic, we brewed up the roster, and when it came to the rosters, we went with what we felt was either the most exciting build, or we wanted to demonstrate some of the cool stuff you could do with that roster, or uh, in one, two, three, four teams cases, just genuinely people's tournament rosters for Dungeon Bowl. So we had the College of Beasts and the College of Metal was the very first game and that was between my College of Beasts build which had three big guys, two Croxagores and one Bloodspawn and I regret nothing. Do I regret anything? No. I mean since then the College of Beasts has had a couple of players added to it so Ulf Warriors uh, and Beer Balls I think so the Beer Balls can therefore allow the College of Beasts to have a slightly better roster. Shame we uh, did that part of the series before that update happened but you know what that's always going to happen so next season look for a much improved college of beasts i reckon now the metal roster was milton's roster and he put it together with a view of playing in dorset dungeon bowl with that team and it was awesome beautifully painted and the college of metal is just an absolute powerhouse having all those blockers but still having a little bit of like stunty dodge it's really good fun so recommend the college of metal too that was a great game uh, the metal team obviously defeated my beasts team so the beautifully um well it wasn't really beautiful but i was happy with the orange and i was happy with the team they're on the wall there like college of beasts uh yeah one and done and metal carried on through then we had game two which was between light and life now light team was put together by blood type ben and his elves and men um, and then you've got the life team, which was put together by Ian Warhanam Hannam. Beautiful team, obviously made it to the final. And uh, I didn't didn't cover myself with glory in that one. The life team did play through. The College of Light is actually a pretty good roster, um, but I I don't know. It, it kind of lacks a little bit of dynamism and definitely lacks a bit of punch. Then we had game three, which was between fire and heavens. And the reason these games were out of sequence, as I know you know, is that we played. The winner of one and three and the winner of two and four i'm not entirely sure why i structured it this way but it's just how it came out fire versus heavens uh two of probably the better teams in dungeon bowl was a bit of a clash ben put together blood type ben put together this uh, fire team beautifully beautifully painted and we got to run it against the heavens team again another roster built by milton uh with a view of running it in dorset dungeon bowl and it was a great matchup a really good game um not the longest game i'll give you that but it was a it was an interesting one now this is it now for me we went through these games and although i played like i don't know half a dozen games of dungeon bowl in this new season before filming the season um not I'm not the best Dungeon Bowl player. Then the last round uh, in the first uh, the first series of games was the Shadow versus Death game. Shadow. What we did with the Shadow team is rather than brewing up one specifically just for the show, we wanted to use all the teams from um, the Bono Championship to kind of demonstrate that actually if you want to play Dungeon Bowl with a Dungeon Bowl team, you can use models that make a lot of sense to go with it. You don't necessarily have to paint something up specific. It is insanely fun to do that, but I don't know it's great to get more use out of models that you love so the shot the shadow team is, was mostly a skaven team really with a few extra players added goblins uh, and then the death team was was gorgeous put together by uh, by trips that was going to be his dorset dungeon bowl team uh all from mg picks kickstarter 3d printed models awesome awesome roster now we actually played a couple of extra games in the first round we played death versus life and shadow versus light but the audio was a complete disaster um actually it was me and ben in light versus shadow no yes and then ben versus trips in life versus death but the audio was completely irretrievable so we've got two secret games that hopefully i can get around to fixing one way or another because they were brilliant games of dungeon ball but we had to re-record them 
And I know you guys know this, as we went through the season, we had a bunch of different tech issues. Uh, to start out, we had the dungeons, like the cameras, not lined up properly. Uh, the audio was atrocious, and I can only apologize for that. Um, we used two different computers to film it with, and the settings were not right. And for some reason, the blooming microphones just had an absolute meltdown. I field stripped them, fully charged them, and actually, hopefully the final demonstrated that the audio is a bit better, but it's still not where it was when we filmed the uh, the Bonehead Championship, so I don't quite understand that. Uh, we're going to have to look at improving that. I I'm actually tempted to go back to cables instead of wireless. We've got these wireless um, mics, and I uh, thought it'd be great for, 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 for mobile games and stuff like that. I'm going to go full Battlestar Galactica, I think, and just go back to cabled audio. Anyway, Beasts lost to Metal, so Metal went through. Fire lost to Heavens, so Heavens went through. We had Life beating Light, so Life went through. And Shadow squeaked out against Death, and uh, and Shadow went through. And then we went into the semi-finals with Metal versus Heavens. Now, this is another game I filmed with Milton, both of Milton's teams. And it was a great game, a really good demonstration of how Heavens can kind of combo out to use a magic the gathering term metal didn't really get a chance to bring its power and it was a great great game life versus shadow was one of the last games we filmed yeah another one with ian warhanam hannam running his life team against me running skaven nearly had it is all i can say i think uh the shadow team was good i was really hoping to squeak out that win there but can't win everything um and then it went to the final heavens versus life and if you haven't seen that i'm not going to spoil it but what a game like absolutely loved it we had we had a big twist in the final which was three balls instead of the one uh so every other chest was that and we were going to play to basically the first to two touchdowns added so much this is probably my favorite way to play dungeon ball because you can kind of you don't have it's not all that mad combo dash and we saw a few of those games uh, where it was high going like, like a half an hour game because it was just do 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 do, do straight through cheeky three plus dodge and it's a touchdown not the most satisfying gaming experience now when you're just playing friendly like friendly casually you can just rack them up again it's wicked and we saw so many coaches do that at dorset dungeon bowl and my heart just goes out because it was a wicked way of doing it it was like oh no do you want to rack them up we still got an hour and a half yeah great we'll play another game for fun for lessons awesome absolutely awesome experience but not what we wanted for the final what we wanted for the final was a proper game we didn't want it just to be 15 minutes and done we wanted to see the team's experience dungeon bowl and i think you'll agree the final was probably the best match of the entire season and i think having that extra ball element meant that the game could continue developing instead of just over and done with it was like right well now what happens what's the second act to this game and uh ah oh, teleporter number four good stuff teleporters in this season hurt me hurt me uh, significantly from the very outset uh we saw it in our warm-up games as well teleporters man they can be awesome <laughs> they, they can just absolutely wreck you so we had a great bunch of teams and a great bunch of games and a great bunch of coaches not a great bunch of audio issues there was some tech stuff but we've learned from that so next season should be a lot sharper and by the time we come around to doing next season who knows we may have a studio we may have better equipment foreshadowing this is something that we want to carry on developing because we had so much fun playing the games and just developing the seasons was so good that we would love to have more games and this is the downside of dungeon bowl is that actually you want to see the teams develop more but there's eight teams and you don't want to therefore have a ton and ton a ton of games because it takes a long time to do so it's an interesting one i cannot wait to hear your thoughts on the season and um what we can do better what you'd like to see again next time what you'd like us to see more of what you'd like us to do differently because we just want to make the best content that we can because we blooming love it the game's amazing and we want to demonstrate it and we want to build i don't know we just want to build something is deserving of the game essentially so uh, i guess the last thing to do before we move on to the viewer championship is to tally up my wins so i lost the first game and then i lost the second game and then i lost the third game and then i won the fourth game so i was one and three in the first round then we went to the finals and i won the semi-final and then i lost the other one so two and six and then obviously the final 
two and six it wasn't two and six it was two and four all right so i was below 50 not quite as uh, as outrageous as the championship but hey appreciate all uh, all of your support when voting for me anyway in the games uh, in the games um anyway talking of the games and the viewer championship let's bounce over to that quick as much as i love statistical analysis which is yeah it's just true it's amazing i love stats this was cool so across the uh, entire season we've got a breakdown of uh, the accuracy of your guesses which was really quite interesting um but i think the the most exciting thing to me was just how close so much of it was uh okay so the final 49% versus 51%. Okay, that's cool. So this was a real split thing, which I think is a really good testament to like the two teams that made it to the final. Obviously, Ian is very good at Blood Bowl and Dungeon Bowl, and I have my moments as well. So I feel like it was a really tight, really tight final. And um, you guys clearly thought so too. And I think it was a great, great game. Now for the season we had yeah 55 percent accuracy of gaining the winners across the whole thing which was brilliant so of all the guesses um only just had the advantage which is the biggest swing in the season uh round four really 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 hammered shadow to win and that was probably our biggest swing 81 percent and then semi-final one had a pretty heavy leaning on one way or another as well. But otherwise, most of the guesses were, were pretty even, which is super cool and super, super fun. So let's have a look at the final six pointers um, who are going to win the Bonehead Championship loot. And it's going to be these folks here. ATK Monkey, Ben Middleton, Blue Max, Christian Cartmail, Dwayne Braswell, Emmanuel Biesi, Ian Haslett, J Hath, Jazz 666, Jeremy Copert, Lars Brundum, Liminality, Michael Yap, Mr. Human, Nicholas Dunlop, Pat Paints, Private Public, Sean Hodgman, uh, Sergio Roma, The Howdy, Tim Bunnage, Warped Bob, Xavier26, and Yokel Mutt. So, guys, send us an email or comment below and... I'll remind you where to send the email to, uh, and uh, we will get you a little token um, of appreciation, a Bonehead Championship ball token so that you can show off. So what we're going to do with the scores, so um, viewer championship, obviously we allowed you to guess, and you know we gave a point for everyone you got right. Dungeon Bowl, it's pretty linear, it's a pretty small pool. There's a whole bunch of you out there, and there'll be the final scroll at the end of the, uh, end of the show. Who've got points but didn't quite make enough to win? Our next series is going to be seven super series and it will be a scoring system very similar. We haven't quite decided whether it's going to be a five point max or a three point max um, equal to uh, the Bonehead Championship. Probably probably stick with the three pointers. But what we're going to do is we're going to roll your points over. Not the folks who won, you will be reset to zero, but everyone else, if you've commented on the Dungeon Bowl once, we will roll your points over into the next series because I think it's the right thing to do. Uh, right, I loved this. This series was wicked. The maps were great fun. I liked that a lot. Um, and the teams were brilliant. You guys were fantastic with your support. I don't have anything else to add, with the exception that you've been asking about the... The, the chest tokens and the maps and i've been very very poorly recently it's only just started to not hurt when i breathe which 10 out of 10 would not recommend uh but one thing i did do is kind of get a few ducks in order i believe well i've sent out everything on the patreon side that i think is outstanding uh so we've turned the store back on so the dungeon maps are available to buy the tokens are available to buy too so if you are after the, a set of maps from the series or the, the the little ball tokens that we're using then you can log on to uh, our site i'll put the link below where you can get your hands on some of them uh, if you think they're going to be useful for your game then awesome you saw in game uh five that game six game six we used one of our maps instead of setting up the dungeon dude it's way easier uh, then of course we went and built one so that was even easier and even better so dungeon bowl is amazing and thank you all very much for watching we'll be back soon with more blood bowl content 
happy dungeon very much for watching we really appreciate your support if you want to help support the channel even further please like and subscribe or come join us on our patreon we have early access to content we get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can or you can get yourself some Bonehead Podcast merch on our Spreadshirt site. So if you want to support a team, especially for the Bonehead Championship, you can pick up a shirt, a mug, things like that. It all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it. Anyway, links below. Thank you very much. Happy blocking.